Matilda. <laughs> Bloody perfect. My ex forwards my mail. The usual, you know, bills, bank statements, death threats. I thought maybe that's why he'd come. Because he was worried about us. Death threats because of Elias Jones. Anniversary to turn things up. No way, he didn't want the neighbours seeing us. I changed my name. I would say very quietly. I give them no reason to be curious about me. So when did you last see Jenny? First Thursday of last month. I was in town, signing my divorce papers. I bought Tendra outside the prison. She was with a colleague, young, fresh face. Reminded me of how I used to be. And where were you yesterday morning between 8 and 10 30? I spent two years trying to put myself back together, piece, my little piece, so that me and Alice can have a life worth living. Do you think that I would risk losing that? Do you think that I would risk losing her? I think I know how I would feel having to carry the can while the girl walks away smelling of roses. Jenny Lister was a brilliant social worker. She didn't get me that. That on my own. I read the internal investigation. You claim to have sent emails asking for help, asking for a reduction in your caseload. Jenny says she never received them. She probably didn't. The system was always crashing. Overwhelmed. I was the worst of most. You were going under, and your boss never even noticed. I feel bad for help her, yeah. I shouldn't have been so desperate to impress her. No hard feelings. Despite having lost your career, your marriage, and a baby. Hey, who's that? Jemima. <laughs> and I'm having a baby sister. Are you now? My father. You're going to help Daddy and Zoe through the mail, aren't you? Yesterday morning, between 8 and 10.30. Here. Yeah. Then I dropped her out of at school. And then I went into town for a decent coffee. My weekly treat. The worst thing I can imagine. Being responsible for the death of a child. All that. No, Rex, having a bear, this is where you're at. Hard not to be looking for someone to blame. So call me a suspect. Not much of an alibi. I mean, is there enough reasonable suspicion? I shouldn't have been so desperate to impress her. Now, who does that tell us about, hmm? Call me or Jenny. And the daughter, Hannah, clear as a bell to me. But Jenny, I just can't get the measure of her at all. It's just this. Well, it's early days, maybe others will turn someone out there. Stevie! Yeah. Bloody murder. Push out of bad effect. So, where's one then? Only I've known a few ones. Mostly from around Scotland. Well, they family to get about. A wheel in and every neck in the north, then. And a clown like you in every station. But how about I do my job and you do yours, and we'll judge each other on that. Hello. I'm Detective Constable Whelan, Northumberland City CID. We're told you sometimes from the Jenny Lester. Yeah, but she's only in the daytime school. That's a perk of retirement. It's not Actually, that's some bad news. We wonder if you could help us with that inquiry. But that's it. That's what they've got for me. Lovely. Well, that's what everyone says. The boss, his colleagues, his landlord. Well, someone didn't think so, did they? No, they are. What about the forensics? Nothing. It rained after. So any prints of work got washed away. Right. So I've got no suspect, nothing to know about the victim, and any evidence was washed away by the wrong sort of rain. What about Tony Marshall? She's got an alibi. Mom, I read Sergeant Ashworth's note to the conversation.
conversation with Hannah. You asked her if her mother planned to keep her figure, and Hannah said she wasn't vain like her. Well, that handbag Jenny reported stolen. The person stole it. That was snatched from under a table in a city bar. Bob Starbuck. But in the contents, she listed collagen tablets. They're skin supplements. You know, longer looking skin. For like 60 quid online for a month for five. Love the real discrepancy, isn't it? Either she didn't care about how she looked, or she did. What? A woman's not allowed to want to look attractive? No, she's right. A little bit of personal vanity. No harm in that. But she didn't want anyone to see it. She hid it even from her own daughter. Nah, come on. It doesn't even run as a white lie. But it tells us something. It tells us she was someone who could conceal things. Well done. What? But you're saying just because she didn't mean it that she was spending money on face pills, she lied to an internal investigation about the money on the Yeah. 